Hello again, Richard from the University of Bristol. You'll recall Alan Renwick's video offering some tips on how to approach evidence, and he offers various tips which I'll summarise here. First, he refers to the fact that you're receiving evidence from one another, a really important part of the process, and also from a range of witnesses, including researchers, health professionals, advocates, and people with relevant experience. Second, Alan suggests that when thinking about what speakers are saying, we should ask ourselves some questions. First of all, what are the key points? Secondly, is there good evidence or a good argument to back up the relevant point? Thirdly, why might someone take a different view? And fourthly, if speakers disagree, then why is this the case? And finally, Alan notes particular biases that can affect how we listen or what we hear. He rightly suggests that the jury's aim is to keep an open mind and to give everyone a fair hearing. So he notes certain things that we can be mindful of. So first he notes that we listen well to good presenters and to people we perceive as being like us. But he reminds us that others can offer valuable insights. Secondly, we tend to hear things that fit with what we think, but we should remember that there may be more to consider. Thirdly, stories, individual stories, can sometimes move us more than pictures of numbers, but of course sometimes the numbers can be very important. Fourth, we want to be liked. So there's a suggestion that we might want to move with the herd, go with the majority, but remember that the majority of the herd might indeed be wrong. And finally, he notes that we best remember that which we heard last, but of course, there might be earlier insights in the process that might be very valuable. So thinking about next steps after tonight's session, you will vote on the first part of the question, should assisted dying be introduced? Then your final two sessions will cover one of two things. If on the first vote you vote yes, then the question will be under what circumstances should assisted dying be introduced? If alternatively you vote no, then you'll be asked to explain the reasons for your decision. Thanks again for listening.